Okay, today I'm going to teach you all how to body people, okay? We finna jump in here. I'm going to body people. I'm going to teach all my ways, okay? I'm going to teach you all just how to be great. Okay, listen. Listen. I got this guy, okay, right, right here. And, and basically, what he's going to do, he's going to demonstrate how to get bodied, okay? Later on, I'm going to teach you all how to not get bodied. So right now, just pay attention, okay? And learn from db 34 right here, okay? Learn from him right now, okay? Because right now, I'm going to be the little punching bag. I'm going to be, I'm gonna be taking, the, 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 taking them body shots, taking them uh, banks to the face, you know? You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm going to be out here getting these kills for y'all, bro. Okay, you see, you see, right there. Just do whatever, do like do whatever he does for real. Okay, because he's gonna be confused a little bit because my controller was dead, so I gotta plug it back in. But basically, just do whatever he does whenever he actually starts hitting me. Okay, just wait for it. It's gonna happen pretty soon. Like, like uh, all you gotta look for is me moving the controller. All you gotta look for is okay. See, see that that's the signal right there. Okay, always start to match. But a charge at least get one bar that way you can either vanish if need to be Cause like think about it bro like you can block the square combos only for so long and actually right there right there bro what i'm doing use the assist okay use the assist to start off a combo okay see even if you fail one super go into another super like right there like come on bro like this is this is all easy knowledge Okay, everything from here on forth, just follow whatever he's doing, okay? Because he knows what he's doing. And I told him to do whatever he wants because I'm going to go easy on him, okay? I'm going to go easy. Easy. You see? That's some pretty good stuff right there. That's, that's really good stuff, bro. Okay, you see? He put that heat blast right in his back. Put that heat blast right in the behind, you know? Okay, exactly what you want to do. Do whatever he's doing. Do whatever DP is doing, because what I'm doing right now, I am purposefully putting myself in a bad situation right now, okay? I am purposefully taking this loss for y'all. <sighs> That's some Sprite I hear you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, see, see, I, I'm like, I don't know what took him so long, but we're finally on to the, on to Janimba. Okay. You see, going against a Janimba player, you always gotta watch out for for that teleporter. Like, what I demonstrated, oh, like, uh, back a couple seconds, okay? Because that teleporter can really trip, trip someone up, but all you gotta do is just vanish. Like, like, literally, either vanish or just, like, like, like move stick around to block. I mean, he did with some great work right there. But, okay, okay, went up, came back down, and he still kept the combo going. See, always challenge into a rematch. It's like a learning experience, okay? Always learn. Always a learning experience. Okay, and right here, we're gonna go back in and see if he can use everything that he learned better than that. Okay. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go mute for a little bit. Look some of my sprite right here. Okay, but, but what, what he first did, really good, okay? Always keep the combos going, because you might trip him up. See, doing the same thing over and over is actually really smart move, bro. 
big brain tactics right here because when you do the same thing over and over, it really makes them think like, oh, let's do something different. But then when you do the same thing, it's like, damn, bro, should have watched out for that. But you know what, bro? They couldn't because they're too busy catching L's, catching fades. Like, A, watch out. Like, mate, they get out the fucking way. I ain't have no brakes. I cannot slow down. I'm like, God damn, get down on the ground. You know, bro? <laughs> like, damn. See, man, right here, good stuff. Moving around a lot. Okay, what you also want to do is trick the opponent into where they waste bars. Okay, right here, right here, two bars. I have two bars. And he has six bars. Okay, this is all good stuff to know. Like, this will make you a great, like, like, like even, this will make you ten times better than any world leader, any military tactician, any, any, any military strategist, like, like, like anyone. Like, even any scientist, bruh. Better than Albert Einstein. Bruh, this will make you so much better than any of them, okay? Ten times better, ten times more useful, bruh. If you simply know this strategy, okay? Just make them waste their bar. And always save spark right there, okay? You see? You see? Okay? I don't know why he uses spark early, okay? But I use mine just a little, just like, just like a tiny bit of seconds later. Just, just like, bro. Even the latest amount later than him, like, or, or her, will make a better difference, okay? Just thinking about it will make, will make everything better. And right there, bro. Always use the counters. Always use the counters. You see, you see, bro, them air combos, always use the air combos. Fire stuff. Okay, the counters. You see, you see the counter I did there? Use the counters. Always use the counters! I'm taking a sip of my You see, timing the actual counters is so much more important than actually doing them. Think about it. If you accidentally time it right, then you still have a likely chance of winning okay but if you know how to do but, he, but like you can't time it right or anything like that then it's bad already like he didn't time that good that's bad okay you always want to try to trick them up okay always try tricking them up this is the thing that i personally learned from db right here okay you see you see this is why he did like he's the second best teacher when it comes to dbfc because he literally taught me tactics that i use against him Okay, like, I literally teach him stuff now. Okay? He taught me, but now I teach him. See, it's crazy. In the counters, bro. These counters go fucking hard. Okay, remember, when you have a lower health bar than someone with a full health bar, you're probably going to lose. So that's why you want to use everything you've got here, okay? Everything you've got. Every super, every bar, every vanish, all of it. The more mistakes you made, or the more mistakes you make, the less likely chance of you really winning. All right, one more thing. Going against a Gogeta player, bro, if they get to level 7, you may be dodging, bro. Just dodge and counter. Okay, dodge and counter, bro. Like, you get him down there. Okay, you see right here? You see right here? Okay, yeah, I blocked this shit, bro. I blocked this shit. I see it coming. I fucking block it. You see? Right here. Right here, man. I should have blocked that, but you know, I have to give you guys a demonstration of what not to do, okay? You see, I have to give you a demonstration. Uh, you guys have to know how to think when it comes to this stuff. Like, I could have easily just, just, uh, just uh, blocked that and then did like a little vanish or something. But nah, I did teach you, okay? I'm like a little master or something, you know? I walk up in this piece, I teach you guys the piece, and then I give you a piece. See, you see, this is great communication too. If you're someone like me who hates using a mic because it's annoying to set up right now, because I use like a, like a, like some tiny ass blue blue yeti, bro. Using the little stamps is so is so good. If they don't communicate back, it sucks. But you know, you just gotta do what you gotta do. And right there, bro, he's using something that I used against him literally, literally a couple of minutes ago. But wait, wait, not even a couple of minutes, like a couple of seconds ago, bro. A couple of seconds ago, bro. You see, 
I teach him, he teaches me, bro. It's a great community bonding experience. We're like a fucking campfire, people that stay at home. Because I like staying at home. I don't fucking care. I love my house. I love being at home. I don't care about outdoors. It's boring. It's hot. Like, it's too hot. I go out there and my nose starts to bleed because of how hot it is. Like, can someone please give me an ice bucket? Or can someone make the freezer of Earth lower? It's too, too hot for this shit. See, right there, right there. I don't know why. I don't know why, but this man hates Janimba. Jakimba. For no reason, okay? He hates Janimba. It's a passion. It's a burning passion. For some reason, he just hates him. But you know what? Right here, okay? Janimba ain't gonna put in too much work. Okay, but he's gonna do something. Okay, he has to do something. You know what? If it's buying time, if it's helping your characters get a higher level or something, then then you did a good job. And right here, bro, right here, I tripped him up, bro. Tripped him up, okay? He fell for my little trap. He fell for it, and he got doomed. You see, you see, bro? See, I put like the tiniest piece in there. That way, he can fall, bro. It's like taking off one of the little Jenga pieces, okay? It's slow and steady. Mm, you see? See? Leg to the face. Okay. See that that's something else that, that, that I'm just teaching y'all right now, okay? Don't rely on the same move over and over unless you have like a higher bar, higher health bar, or you just have like like uh, like um higher rank than them or anything like that nature, okay? You see, right here you gonna win, but don't worry, I already told him this is all a learning experience, and so that really doesn't count, okay? So, that doesn't count, this was like a learning experience for, for everybody involved, okay? And that's gonna be episode one of the DBFZ learning experience, tell me what you think.